In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how as a beginner, you can take your S-Log3 footage and take it from this into this cool looking footage. Salam my friends, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel, Nemo TV. I'm Nima and usually on my YouTube channel, I post a whole bunch of tutorials and behind the scenes on how making some dope ass commercials. Now, if you've been following my videos, you've noticed that this is not my YouTube studio and uh, you guess it right. Uh, so right now I'm self quarantining in the space and I have none of my like key lights, none of my lighting set up here. So I've recorded the video you saw in the intro and I was like, let me show you how you can take a slug tree footage and color correct and color grade in a way that it really looks way better than how it usually would look like if you don't do that much on it. So um, I really believe that this video is gonna be useful, especially if you are a beginner in doing your own uh, color uh, correction and color grading. So stick around, it's gonna be cool. And so uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. You don't have to like the video yet. Just keep it for the end of the video because I mean, maybe you don't like it. So keep your likes for the end of this video and Let's get into it. So first I'm just gonna create a new project. So I'm just gonna go to far new, new project. Let's say I'm just gonna name this color, uh, color, no E. And tap okay. I'm just gonna replace it. New, then you create a new sequence. I recorded my uh, video in 4K. So I'm just gonna go HD 4K. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm just gonna let the name of the sequence be there. Now I'm just gonna drag and drop the video that I recorded which is this one. I'm just gonna drag and drop it here. Keep existing setting. Let's say, let me just mute it so it doesn't play. Now, this is the footage that we wanna do. The first step would be creating an adjustment layer. How do we do that? I'm gonna go to the editing section over here and you can either right click new item, adjustment layer, or just go to find new adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna create an adjustment layer and drag and drop it over here and just extend it so it goes through your footage. And everything will be applied to the adjustment layer. We wouldn't be color correcting and grading the actual footage. We do it on adjustment layer. Now, we go to the color tab. Step one would be uh, adjusting the white balance. As you can see, this footage is super yellowish and it's because of the lighting. So I'm gonna drop the temperature until I know this water bottle is kind of white, so I see a white-ish color and yes, less kind of yellow. So this should be doing it. And I wouldn't be changing the tint at this point. However, you can increase it a little bit. And if you wanna use the white balance picker, you just tap on it, but it doesn't work on the adjustment layer. So what you need to do is to just disable the adjustment layer, select the actual footage, and use the picker, tap on something that you think is white, and then it's just gonna do it for you. Now you can memorize these numbers or just go to your adjustment layer and just uh, put the number. So it's negative 33.9, negative 33.9, and for the tint, it's 4.6. So I'm just gonna put 4.6, and now go to the actual footage and make sure you double tap and reset that and then put the adjustment layer to the visibility. So now this is how you adjust your white balance. The next step, which is super critical, is adding some contrast because s 3 is super low contrast color profile. In order to do that, go to curves and create an S shape uh, curve. And by tapping, you create three additional nodes and then you create that S shape by moving this a little bit up and moving this by a little bit lower, but make sure it doesn't go too dark. So I'm gonna hold this around here. Now I go back to the basic correction. I increase some of the highlights. I increase the shadows a little bit, but not too much. And I increase my white a little bit. So it kind of adds more brightness while we increase the contrast in here as well a little bit. Now, I like it how it's coming out to be. Now, uh, it doesn't have any, it's a low saturation profile as well. So I'm gonna go to the curves and I'm gonna go to hue versus saturation and I'm gonna drag this and bring it a little bit up but not too much. I would say here is good because if I add it too much then the colors is gonna be, are gonna be messed up. Okay, here is a little bit better. Now I go to the basic correction and I think I like the way this is this looks like right now. 
However, I would just reduce my saturation a little bit. Let me double tap. I think here should be way better. Yeah. Now let me go back here. I can adjust my tints a little bit. Yeah, here is way better. Now I can increase my whites and my highlights a little bit more and yes now i'm gonna go to the hsl secondary which is how i actually adjust the skin tones in order to do that tap on this checker and put it on color black or color gray however you feel like is better and i'm gonna tap on red and now i'm gonna play around with these so i get rid of the the t-shirt and stuff and it's not selected so i just want the skin to be selected in here so i'm just gonna play around with these make sure I deselect my t-shirt all right once you have tweaked and selected the majority of the skin uh, make sure you just do your best and you have actually selected all that you can although due to poor uh, lighting setup in here it's kind of hard to differentiate the wall from the skin uh, you are gonna add some the noise and blur so it's gonna be smooth after we apply it now you can either get dive deep and do the mid-tones shadows and highlights individually or just stick to the mid-tones and just adjust this one i'm gonna make it a little bit more warm around there and i'm gonna increase my contrast a little bit but not too much i feel like right now we are too yellow so i'm gonna drop it also drop the temperature a little bit so let me go through the profiles yeah i think it's it's too yellow right now so i'm gonna go back and add be a little bit more gentle with it I think now you're in a good place. Also, if you feel like it's too much, you can always play around with the temperature over here. But let me go up. And now if we compare before and after, this is before, this is where we are right now, which is in pretty good condition. Uh, something you can do is to introduce more contrast, which should be kind of, kind of control you don't want to destroy the colors you don't want to do it too much especially with the lower end but i think now it's in a good shape so if you do it before and after before and after all right i think that's it all right guys thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end if you had any questions about what i just did in terms of color correction and grading of this video let me know below in the comments I would be more than happy to answer them as soon as I see them. And if this was your first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, if, and if you found value in it, give it a thumbs up, like it for the algorithm, and until the next video, mochless.